Hey guys, how's it going? It's been a little bit since I did one of these videos, but I've got a bunch of great little tips for you guys today. So the first thing is something that you might have noticed before and kind of done by accident. So if you look at these clips, you see I'm kind of missing on my initial swing, but I still end up hitting the enemy. So when you swing your weapon, it'll still do damage if it hits something as long as it hasn't gotten back to its starting position. So if you do miss an attack, try to keep your weapon near the opponent and you might still be able to get a hit. And these hits do good damage too. They aren't weaker or anything. All right, the next tip is also an attacking tip, and this one can be especially useful during 1v minis or really any time you're outnumbered. So this has probably happened to you where someone's right up in your face and you can't get an attack off because you can't even move your weapon. So what I like to do in these situations is just to kind of turn away so I'm facing somewhere else, any open space, and then set up for the attack and then bring it back over to the enemy. Obviously this will help the most with longer weapons, but it can even help when you've got a shorter weapon. The next tip is just a little one, but it can really help. So sometimes during a fight, the best thing you can do is turn and run to give yourself some space. Now I play without camera lock, which which is something I would really recommend. But then when you do something like this, you lose sight of the enemies. So if you just quickly tap your target lock, that'll swing your camera around and you'll be back in position. This can also help you reset anytime the camera does something weird. All right, so last tip is something that's gonna help you take less damage. So if you watch the enemies in these clips, you'll see that they love to attack twice in really quick succession. This can be dangerous because if you block the first one, that'll usually move your shield out of position for the second one. So there are two ways I like to deal with this. The first is to turn your body or click your block a couple of times to quickly reset your shield to a good position. The other thing you can do is back dodge after the first attack and that should have you out of range for the second attack. And if you do both at the same time then you should really be safe. I think in particular enemies with two-handed swords and Haney and Stackas really like to do this double attack so watch out for that. And that's that so I hope you find these tips useful. Leave a comment if you got any tips of your own that you want to share and as always thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.